Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And, okay, today's video... Th this is not live, by the way. I've played this game before. This game is amazing. And let me tell you why you are really gonna learn a lot from this game. And you're really gonna enjoy this game. Okay. In this game, I got destroyed. And I destroyed the enemy. Let me let me elaborate on that, okay? What, what do I mean with I got destroyed and I, got, and I destroyed the enemy? I got destroyed micro-wise in my lane. Okay, but I absolutely destroyed the enemy macro wise. So I outsmarted the enemy and I really 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 think it's important for you to watch this game Because here uh, in this game you can see how I don't get tilted and how I stay focused on the game and like I, I don't want to say I hard carry the game, but I uh, You'll see okay, you'll see Like I'm not gonna say too much um, um, So obviously I'm uploading this video because I made a Darius video last week and in that video, I said, if that video reaches 500 likes, I'll make another Darius video. And that video actually reached 1,000 likes. So, that is absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you so much. So, you know, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to give the video a like, right? You know, if you're enjoying it. And like always, I'm doing a giveaway, skin giveaway. Giving away five skins this month to random comments. So, all you gotta do, put down a comment, you know, put down a comment. So, look at this. I'm taking unfavorable trades. Look at what I'm doing. Oh, I almost died. So... Like, okay, let me explain to you why I'm losing this lane. Because now I'm watching the game back. And look at what I'm doing. Look at this. Okay. Okay, when you're playing against a Yasuo and as a Darius, you're gonna struggle in the early game, okay? Because Yasuo can just poke you with his first ability. And as you could see, he got me super low and he just killed me. Like, okay, what should I have done there? The way that I should have played it is um, I need to take these small traits by hooking him in using my second ability and my first ability to heal up and then go out. Oh, my camera just lagged again. You know, that's how I need to play against him. Like, the, the way that I was playing, which is completely wrong, was I, I kept going for the minions, and I stayed in lane to give him free damage. I don't know what's happening with my camera, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. Don't do that against Ayasso. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I do a little better later on. Like, look at this. Here, I play a little safer, which is really good. Like, this was good. This is how you want to play, because, um, especially now, because I got killed by the Yasuo. You know, look, look. Uh, yeah, good. I do not overextend now to go for the minions like I did in the early game because um, if I keep doing that now and I keep dying, we pretty much lose the game because Yasuo is going to hard carry the game. Like, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm just kind of trying to get some minions there. <laughs> so, um, okay, like now I have a small problem in this game. Look, I'm already doing way better as you can see. You see this? This is how you want to play against a Yasuo if he's a little ahead. Exactly. Just go for the minions. And don't do it, yeah, like, don't don't take free damage. Because the problem of Yasuo is he can just dash, like, as you can see. He can just dash through the minions and hit his first ability on you and get easy poke. And if you hook him in, he's gonna hit you even more. And he can escape by using his second ability on another, or his third ability on another minion, sorry. So, um, here I was kind of thinking, okay? I didn't get tilted, like, I'm pretty behind now. It's actually pretty bad. I'm just focusing on farming. I'm telling my team the Yasuo is coming and... Um, the way that I can make, you know, the way that I can redeem myself in this game is by rotating to dragon, okay? So, I know that the dragon is gonna spawn in 35 seconds because dragon spawn at minute 4. So, I'm pushing this lane, I'm pushing this lane, and I'm thinking here. Um, uh, I w I'm gonna go back and rotate to dragon. I'm coming to dragon, and I wanna make the difference with this. So let's watch what's gonna happen. What, what am I gonna type to my team? I come, yes. I, I always like to tell my teammates, you know, that I'm coming. And you can see the Yasuo on bot lane. So this is a little rough here. And he's actually going back, so he's coming as well. So um, I wanna fight as fast as possible. I wanna capitalize on the fact that I'm here. But unfortunately, the Ari just went back, which is actually kind of annoying. But, you know, it's still fine. It's still fine. So let's watch. I know that the Yasuo is coming, by the way. So that's that's a thing to note, right? Like, it's a 5v5, which could be unfavorable for us. It could. But um, the way that you can still... The way that you need to win teamfights with Darius is get your 5 stacks of Noxian Might. So all I need to do is find a target that I can stack on easily. So let's watch what I'm going to do. I don't want to spoil it. Look. I see an Alistar here. Look at what I'm doing. Boom. Boom. Look at who I'm focusing. I'm going for Alistar. And I have 5 stacks. I have 5 stacks. Boom, boom, boom. 
I really, really, really want you to, to look back at this fight and see how I got my five stacks. The way that I initiated that fight, okay? When you're playing Darius in a team fight, it, it, in the beginning, it's not really important who you focus uh, damage-wise. What is important is you need to focus someone who you can stack on easily. So someone that cannot really escape. And I saw that the Alistar was walking there. Like, she was, he was just walking there. So I decided to go on him. I got three stacks for free on the Alistar. So then, in the middle of the team fight, I ignored everyone. I just went on the Alistar. And when I got five stacks, I got it's true that I got a little low. But I escaped with my full stacks. And then Lee Sin, I just killed him. Because when you get the full stacks, you're going to kill the enemy. And this is a really, really important thing that you need to understand about Darius. You need to get the five stacks. This is the whole point of Darius. When you're doing a team fight, all you got to focus on is getting the five stacks. And look at this. Look at this. Yasuo is in the bot lane. I'm still here. I am still here. And what I do is I force this dragon. Because it's a 4v5 situation. And I know we're going to destroy them if we fight. So let's look. Again, the Alistar engages. I already have three stacks, but unfortunately he died. <laughs> So let's look. Here's another free target, but he jumps over the wall. So another way... Oh, look at this. We killed the Lee Sin and easy fight. We, won we, we pretty much won this fight because I was here. I made it a 5v4, which was favorable for us. HP, me... Oh, oh, yeah. I said to my team, help me in lane now. Because I really sacrificed my lane to help my team. And this was this was good for me. This was really really good for me. But as like the problem here is Yasuo is gonna be way stronger than me in the lane. So I need help in my lane. So let me tell you another way that you can easily get your five stacks in a team fight. When you're playing Darius, you and you see a target that's very low, it might actually be worth it to flash on the target, hit him with your burst combinations, and use your ultimate to secure the kill. Because when you get a kill with your Darius ultimate, you have full stacks as well. And if you do that, you can go ham on the enemy. So keep in mind, whenever you can, try to secure a kill with your ultimate. Because first of all, your ultimate is going to get reset. So you're going to have it again. And secondly, you're going to get full stacks of Noxine Might when you get the kill with your ultimate. So please try to pay attention to that. And really, really try to get the kills with your ultimate. Okay. So here, um, honestly, the way that I'm thinking in this game is I want to play around dragons. Because I, I am seeing that the Yasuo is not really the type of player that's rotating a lot. So I'm kind of taking it easy here, just farming up. And I kind of want to wait until the next dragon, you know. I kind of want to wait until the next dragon to help my team. That's basically my thinking process here. So I immediately get a teleport. As I said, like my thinking process is... That I want to go for dragon. And I'm telling... Yes. 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 Good job. Good job. I played this game a few days ago, actually. Uh, I don't really remember what I did. But I, I want to say what I'm thinking now. And it's, it's really nice to see that I was thinking exactly the same as I'm thinking now. So this is why I really, really like this game. I keep my... You know, I even, even though I got killed in the early game like an idiot by the Yasuo. I'm still paying attention to how I can make my team win the game. That is what I'm doing. Okay, and that is what you need to do as well. Don't get tilted. Think of ways that you can still win the game. And yeah, so here I'm kind of considering using my teleport. And I actually do use my teleport because I want to help my team. So let's watch what's going to happen. Boom, 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 and boom. Beautiful teleport. I just teleported and helped my team get a free kill. This was beautiful. And um, I should have, I think I should have my teleport for the next dragon as well. The cooldown is, the cooldown is two and a half minutes, actually three minutes. Uh, so I should have it for the next dragon as well. Actually, no, I don't think I will, but it, w I it was still a worthy teleport. When you see your team fight like that, consider using your teleport to just help them out, right? Because now it's a one team fight and we can try to snowball this team fight by, you know, pushing lanes, uh, maybe getting turrets. So that's what's going to happen here. I overextended here actually. But I almost killed him. I, I actually played that fight really, really well. Even though we were caught off guard. Because I kept focusing one target. Like I told you. When you play Darius, focus one target. Because um, that's how you stack up. You know, if you go for one target to the other one. And then to the other one. Um, you're not going to get your Noxie in my stacks. Yeah, look. As I said, it's okay. Focus on dragons. I want to keep the composure in my team. I just want to tell them it's okay. Just focus on the dragon. I will come to the dragon. Right? That, like, I really want to make my team uh, feel confident with me as a baron laner even though i died like an idiot right so yasuo is in bot lane again this is another opportunity and this is what you need to see when you're playing games look at the map 
Look at the map. See that the Yasuo is there and help your team. Look at this. I am here. I used my flash hook. I get the kill and I have my full Noxine White. And Alistar actually helps me get another kill. And look at this. Because of me, we killed all of them. We killed all of them. And this is how you outplay the enemy. You do not outplay the enemy micro-wise. You outplay the enemy macro-wise. With your brain, guys. With your big-ass brain. Look at the way I'm playing. This is how you win a game. This is how you get dragons, barons, turrets, everything. Like, as you can see, the Yasuo... It's true that the Yasuo is winning his lane. It's true that the Yasuo took one turret and also did damage to the second turret. But does that really matter? Yes, it matters, but not as much as what I'm doing. I am turning the whole game around while Yasuo is just winning the lane. This is the importance of being a good macro player, guys. Use your brain. Outplay the enemy. When you see the Yasuo in the bot lane, rotate to your team, get the kills, and make them get dr dragon. Because you're going to be that extra piece that your team needs. Because it's going to be a 5v4 because of you. And here, actually, here I kind of realized when I get a Starrix gauge... I might be able to beat the Yasuo in a 1v1. Switch lane. Oh, this was so smart as well. Let me explain. I tell my team to switch lane. You know what? You know what? Let me know in the comments why you think I told my team I switch. Why you think I told... Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I already spoiled it. <laughs> never mind. Don't let me know in the comments. I guess I already spoiled it. So, okay, let me explain. Um... um uh, I switched to top lane because I have teleport. Now, why is it important that I have teleport? Let me tell you why, okay? The, we already took dragon, which is in the dragon lane. But baron is still up, okay? The baron is still up. So, the way that I want to play is I want to put pressure on this lane. And I want, I, you know, I want to put pressure on this lane. And whenever they rotate to me, I'm either going to kill them or I'm going to teleport to my team. This is always going to be advantageous for us because... <laughs> Like, look, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on this lane. And, like, look, the enemies have to rotate to me. As you can see, the Alistar is here. And uh, I'm telling them, get Baron, get Baron, get Baron. Because they are here. They are here. Look at this. They are here. They should just get Baron. Wait, can I just kill him here? Oh, I have my full stack. Two of them are here. Two of them are here. And I'm rotating to my team. I am rotating to my team. And this is easy. This is a 3v5. Again... Because of the big brain, we win this fight and we get the Baron. Do you see how important it is? Do you see why I think this was a, this was a great video? Three minutes left. Yeah, five minutes left. Like, this is why. This is why. We just won another fight because of me. And um, you might argue that it's also because of my teammates. But honestly, this is really, really because of me. This is because of my place. And this is what you want to do as a Baron laner, guys. This is this is your role as a Baron laner. I'm executing it perfectly here. You want to be annoying as hell. And you want to be the big brain guy that rotates to dragons, rotates to barons. And uh, sometimes you can use the teleport, right? Like, you need to make the big brain plays. You need to outplay the enemy and make sure your team gets the advantage in the game. I see so many people tell me that the Baron lane role is like the uh, role with the least impact. And I really disagree because I think Baron lane can actually have the most impact in the game. Obviously, it's hard. You know, having good impact as a Baron laner is hard. But as you can see in this game, I have the most impact. Even though I died early game, I do have the most impact. And um, here, again, let's see what I'm going to do, actually. Um, okay, so Dragon is spawning soon. And I'm pretty sure I'll be going to, the, to my lane again. And I'm going to say the same thing to my team. I have teleport. You can get dragon, right? I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to do the same thing. Because it's just so powerful. It's so, so powerful with the teleport too. <clears throat> and as you can see, my playstyles. Always be with your team. Always, always, always be with your team. You know? Don't be the annoying split pusher that just keeps split pushing and does nothing. If you split push, you need to have a teleport. So you can still be with your team if necessary. Okay, so the dragon is spawning. They are backporting. Um, this would be a good op this would be a good opportunity to maybe do it, right? But actually, the team is going back. So um, yeah, I'll be going back as well. Let me see. Item. Yeah. Okay. I tell my team that I need an item. True. True. Wait me. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, like as you can see, I always communicate with my team, just telling them to wait for me and don't go for these crazy fights without me. Let's see. Let's look at... Oh, they already got it. <laughs> the enemies didn't even contest. And here I want to tell you another very important thing. 
Wait, let's look. I want to show it to you, actually. Look at the look at what Wukong is doing, okay? Look at what Wukong is doing. This is very, very important. He's using a sweeper, okay? You know, the red helicopter. Look, look, look. Look at Wukong. You see that? And because of him using that sweeper, the enemies could not see what was going on with the dragon. That is a very, very important tool that you really need to use as well. And it's very underrated because I don't see many people do it. So when you do a dragon, and when the dragon is at like two or 3,000 HP, use a sweeper so the, enemies, so the enemies cannot see how much HP it has. And here I just baited him and I completely destroyed him. Let's look at what I'm going to do. Flash. Oh, it was a nice try. It was a nice try. I wanted to kill the ash with the flash, but um, unfortunately it didn't work. But it was a nice try. Respectable. Let's see. Oh yeah, let me talk about the item that I went for actually. Because as you can see, I have a Death Dance second item. And the reason for that is like, like I normally don't get Death Dance as my third item. I get it as like my fifth item. But in this game, I got it as my third item. Because the enemies have a lot of assassins. They have Yasuo, they have Lee Sin, they have uh, uh, Katarina. These champions deal a lot of burst damage. So Death Dance is gonna allow me to tank the burst damage and to heal back up, right? That is why death, that is why I itemize death stance in this game right now. And um, after death stance, I'll be going for Randuin's Omen because Yasuo has critical damage, Ash has critical damage, Lee Sin has attack damage too. Like Randuin's Omen is gonna slow all of their uh, attack speed and it's gonna reduce the damage from crit. So it's the perfect item that I can go for. Here I was actually kind of overextending. They could have potentially killed me, so it was not good positioning by me. Okay, so Baron is up. What can I do? You know, you, sh you should already know what I can possibly do right now. Of course, I can go to top lane, put pressure, and use my teleport. Yes, that's right. I push top. You see that? This is what you need to do. Put pressure as a Baron laner, use your teleport, and win the game for your team. Like, look, now they can go to Baron. They can just get it. And look, if the enemy fights them, it's a 4v4. And I get like two turrets and their inhibited turret. But if the enemy rotates to me, my team gets a free Baron. So look, look at what they're doing. They're actually fighting them. I am not teleporting. I'm pushing. I am not teleporting. I'm just letting my team know that I'm going to push like crazy. Like, look at this. I'm just pushing their inhibitor turret. I don't even care. I don't even care about the Baron. This is more important. So this is what you can do as a Baron laner, guys. Please stop telling me that the Baron laner doesn't have a lot of impact on the game. Look at this impact. I'm literally, like, winning us the game right now. All the plays that I made, all the big brain plays. It's not about micro play, it's about macro play. Please understand. Let's look at what I'm gonna do to this guy. He's dead, right? Oh my god. Going for him as well. What? I just killed an Alistar from, like, 60% HP. What? And here it is. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I think this was a great game. And I think that this was really helpful and uh, enjoyable for you guys. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's check some stuff out after the game as well. What was my rank? Ah. <laughs> yeah, and the Kai'Sa did get MVP. But I did really, really good too. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you all in the next Wilder video. Bye-bye.